Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to explore two important systems of measurement, the metric system and the imperial system. We'll break down their key units and conversions using a simple table. Let's get started. Let's talk about length. In the metric system, we have millimeter. A millimeter is a very small unit of length in the metric system. It's often used to measure tiny objects like the thickness of a credit card or the width of a pencil tip. Centimeter. It's commonly used for everyday measurements, such as the height of a person or the length of a book. One centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Meter. It is used to measure a wide range of everyday distances, such as the length of a room. One meter equals 100 centimeters or 1,000 millimeters. Kilometer. It's used to measure longer distances, such as the length of a road or the distance between cities. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. In the imperial system, we use inch. It is commonly used to measure smaller dimensions, such as the size of a screen or the width of a book. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Foot. Used for human height or room dimensions, one foot is equal to 12 inches. In metric terms, one foot is approximately 30.48 centimeters. Yard. Used for slightly longer lengths, like fabric. One yard equals three feet, or 36 inches. In metric terms, one yard is approximately 91.44 centimeters, which is just under a meter. Mile. Used for long distances, such as between cities. It's equal to 1,609 meters, or 1,760 yards. Next, let's look at weight. In the metric system, milligram. A milligram is a very small unit of weight in the metric system. It's used to measure extremely light objects, such as the dosage of medicine or small particles. Gram. Common for food weights, one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Kilogram. Used for heavier objects, like a person's weight. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Metric ton. Used for large weights, like a car. One metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. In the imperial system, ounce. Used for small weights, like food ingredients. One ounce is equal to about 28.35 grams in the metric system. Pound. It's commonly used to measure body weight or heavier objects. One pound is equal to 16 ounces or about 0 0.45 kilograms in the metric system. For example, 2.2 pounds is roughly equal to one kilogram. Stone. Less common, used mainly in the UK for body weight. One stone equals 14 pounds or about 6.35 kilograms in the metric system. Now, let's compare volume. In the metric system, milliliter, used for small liquid amounts like a drop. Liter, used for drinks or fuel, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. In the imperial system, fluid ounce, one fluid ounce is roughly 29.57 milliliters in the metric system. It's important to note that fluid ounces measure volume, not weight, unlike the regular ounce. Pint. Used for liquids, especially milk or beer. One pint equals 16 fluid ounces, or about 473 milliliters. Quart. Used for larger liquid quantities, one quart is equal to two pints, 32 fluid ounces, or about 946 milliliters. 
gallon, used for fuel or big containers of liquid. One gallon equals four quarts, eight pints, one hundred twenty-eight fluid ounces, or about three point seven eight five liters. Let's move on to speed, meters per second, used in physics or sports. Kilometers per hour. It measures how many kilometers a vehicle travels in one hour. In the imperial system, feet per second, used in certain sports or physics. Miles per hour. It measures how many miles a vehicle travels in one hour. Finally, let's compare temperature. In the metric system, Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius and boils at one hundred degrees Celsius. In the imperial system, Fahrenheit, water freezes at thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit and boils at two hundred twelve degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helps you understand both metric and imperial units. Remember. Some measurements, especially in the imperial system, may vary depending on the region, as we've based our examples on the U.S. system. If you're learning English, it's useful to know these differences. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational content. See you next time.